The Belleville train station, situated in the bustling industrial area, is one of the busiest interchanges that locals use to connect their modes of transport. According to Prasa, at some point before COVID-19, the station operated more than 70 trains a day. But the large-scale destruction of the rail network system, including the theft of overhead cables, rail tracks, and vandalism of infrastructure, has affected the services. Authorities say plans are afoot to reintroduce this cost-effective mode of transport, despite the ongoing challenges. If you look at the way we are operating the services under abnormal conditions, which makes it already a small and a slow service, but still a safe service, now with load shedding, specifically now with the escalating uh, stages, uh, it, it just became a big killer of, of this business in the sense of that systems is just gone. Uh, your, 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 your systems that need to back up just can't keep up with it. Uh, you have dark stations, you don't have electricity there. There's a lot of those things that is absolutely influencing everything that we are doing. Western Cape Premier Alan Winde has welcomed the resumption of the service. The provincial government is advocating for the devolution of the train service to the province in order to incorporate it in its integrated transport network. Commuters relish the opportunity to use the trains once again. I'm actually quite happy. It's just quite sad to see that some of the platforms have been demolished by the people. That is something that's really sad because now we need to rebuild that again. So you're giving out extra money on that. But other than that, I'm actually quite happy that the trains are back. The train is operational and I'm very glad for that. And I thank you for Praza to opening the line for us. I didn't even need it to be early because the train was on time and I got to work on time and I paid way less. I would have paid 100 rand just for the day to get Tiger Bar. But I spent only 24 rand to go to work and come back. Prasa says it is looking to restore limited services on the troubled Central Line corridor. The agency has appealed to commuters to refrain from eating, smoking and drinking on the trains to keep the carriages clean. Ah, Tule Joga, SABC News, Cape Town.